was it already morning? This makes about as much sense as it did last night. Let's take a look at the evidence for the kajillionth time. I've got to be missing something. No matter what that photo of me suggests, there's no way. Is that me? Did I go back in time and do that? It doesn't make any sense. And I would never hurt Safi. Not on purpose. That isn't me. It can't be. There's also that flash drive from Gwen. Maybe something on there will crack the case wide open. I read the beginning. It's annoyingly good. Unfortunately, Lucas didn't include an evidence that I killed Safi chapter. Restraining Order Lucas said Safi once threatened to turn his son against him. That certainly implies some bad blood in their past. But that Lucas, Moses, when this is all over, I'll play as many games of Mana Massive as you want. I swear. Whoever did this had to go to so much trouble. Vin definitely knows more about the cow skull than he's letting on. Plus, there was that photo of him and Safi canoodling. But what does that even mean? Why on earth did Gwen cancel Safi's book deal? Didn't she help her to get it in the first place? Before Safi died, Gwen got her book cancelled, and I still don't know why, but that I should see what's on Gwen's flash drive before calling it quits. Sorry, Gwen. If there's something useful on this, maybe you'll thank me later. Hold on. She's looking right at the camera. Like, she knows it's there. Does she want to get caught? Or is this another doppelganger? Maybe if I go object by object, an answer will jump out at me? Coffee. Coffee is friend. Get coffee now. No matter how much I stare at you, he refused to make sense. Moses? Hello, Miss Caulfield. Oh, fuck. Can I come in? The photo. If he sees that... I have some questions for you. Of course, I... I can answer your questions right here. Well, this is a nice change of pace since yesterday. I appreciate the cooperation. There are just a few details I'm struggling to make sense of. Go ahead. Arcadia Bay. Where you went to high school, right? Yes. 
a beautiful town with a surprisingly violent story to tell. Not unlike... Arcadia Bay and Safi are not connected. A small town with a curious number of murders. And now, Safi, Llewellyn, Fayed, murdered in a small town? What are the odds? What do you think, Miss Caulfield? Are you the one who's unlucky? Or is it just everyone who ever meets you? Go fuck yourself. Arcadia Bay has nothing to do with Safi. Ooh, there it is. Touched a nerve? I knew I'd find one if I kept poking around. Detective, I'm not answering any more of his questions. What the fuck happened to the telescope, Maxine? I... I don't even know what you're talking about. Someone was in the office with me. I could hear them. I saw Moses in the hallway, but I didn't see you. All right, enough. We're not getting anywhere. This case has been abnormal from the beginning. None of the evidence makes any sense. At least that's something we can agree on. But I know why now. Somehow, all this death leads to you. That's not true. He saw it. He saw the photo. Stupid, Max. Stupid, stupid. What the hell do I do now? None of this makes any sense. What happened that night? Why the fuck am I in this picture? The old me would have just... Jumped back in time to the moment this photo was taken. Maybe... Maybe I still could? That's what it feels like to capture the perfect photo. No. Feels good. Final. Sophie. Hmm. It's here too. But there wasn't a storm the day Sophie died. Maybe we are cursed. You, me, and Maya. Safi, wait. Who is Maya? What was she talking about? <sighs> Stop stalling, Max. Tell 
tell me how to stop this? What do I have to do? Pull the trigger. I... What? No. No, that wasn't enough time. Moses, you were right. I don't know how, but you were. I have to tell him. Everything. Moses is waiting for me up there. Hopefully. I get it, Joyce. Dating after everything that's happened feels impossible. I have to do this. I have to go back up there. This is where the police tape was yesterday. Did the cops take it down on Alderman's orders? Some of that was definitely directed at me. Here. Yet. 
Let's give him a few minutes. Maybe wait on the bench. Might as well gather my thoughts before Moses gets here. You stay the fuck away from me. What if he doesn't come? I couldn't blame him. I killed his best friend. What does that say about me? That I, any version of me, could do something like that? He's probably not coming. Diamond knows where I am and who I'm meeting. So don't do anything stupid. I deserved that. You wanted to talk. So talk. Tell me the truth. Tell me why you did it. I don't think I've actually done it yet. I think it was a future version of me. Moses, wait! I asked you to come here so I could show you proof. Something is weird about this place. Look! These flowers! What are the odds they'd bloom in the middle of winter? Exactly in the shape of Sophie's body? Five minutes and then I leave. Okay. So, what if I told you there's this other timeline where Sophie is alive and I can travel between this timeline and that one? Four minutes. I know, I know that it sounds insane. But I can show you. I, I'll, I'll hop from this timeline to the other. You'll see me, poof, disappear. Yeah. To some magical fantasy world where you didn't kill Safi, right? It's not a fantasy world. It's connected to this one. If I try to, I can even see the other one from here. Wait. You can see across them? And here, too. So if you disappear or whatever, and I do something while you're gone... I can tell you what it was when I come back. And then... You'll believe me? It'd be a start. Okay. Okay, deal. All right. There's a chance Moses will believe me. First, I gotta hop over to... I shouldn't leave yet. I shouldn't leave yet. Now to see what Moses is up to on the other side. Shit. I think Moses is too stunned to do anything. Let me jump back over to make sure I didn't break him. Max? Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit! I'm sorry if I upset you. Upset me? Are you kidding? You did something physics says should be impossible. Is impossible. 
So you... You believe me? Yes. And... No. You disappeared! Max, literally! I completely forgot to do anything. Okay. Let's try it again. Ready when you are. Okay. Let's try this again. Psychic storm. What did I do when you were away? And then you said... Machine Angel Psychic Storm. Um... Yep. <laughs> That's what I did. Wow. I mean... Yeah. Near as I can tell, Sophie's death is where the timeline split. I think her absence is the only difference between the two. I guess that could be a big enough event to lead to... You okay? So Sophie's alive over there, huh? She is. And she's... Don't say happy. We both know that would be a lie. You're right. When you see her again, can you give her something for me? The bottle cap? How did you... Safi slipped it back to me that night. Found it in my equipment. You give that to her, tell her... Tell her stay safe, Max. Make her swear to it. I will. Promise. But I think she's going to need our help. What do you mean? When I was a teenager, I could... Rewind time. Just... Raise my hand and undo everything that had just been done. Okay. And if I had a photo, I could go back even farther. Wait. Could. Past tense? I know it sounds like it must have been amazing. <laughs> but Moses, the things I caused to happen. Just having a power doesn't necessarily give you mastery over it. One of many lessons gleaned from X-Men comics. The point is, I... stopped using it, and now it barely works. Okay, but... there's a photo of you from that night. With a gun. You're saying that could be... a future you? Even though you can't do that anymore? This morning I tried rewinding into that photo. It felt like trying to flex an atrophied muscle. Nothing made sense. But I was there, in the past. Sophie mentioned Maya, and, oh God, the storm. Max? Look, there's a timeline where, for some reason, 
I shot Safi. This one. And there's a timeline where I didn't. I feel like, intentionally or not, these two worlds exist because of a decision I'm going to have to make. Holy shit. Moses, I've been here before. When I could rewind, it broke time. People got hurt. I can't let what happened in Arcadia Bay happen here too. First look at the crime scene is inconclusive. I'll need some further insight into Miss Llewellyn Fayette's mental state. Not to call a shot prematurely, but if this isn't suicide, I'd put money on a Mr. Moses Murphy, friend of the deceased, being the perp. I need to introduce myself to Mr. Murphy. He's talking like he hasn't already met you. Like he's... Alderman from yesterday. An alderman that already happened? Max, this is really bad. Time isn't supposed to act this way. It appears something was removed from her person post-mortem. Maybe the camera her mother mentioned. We need to get the hell out of it. <gasps> I fucking knew it. Returning to the scene of the crime? Amateur hour shit. How'd I let a couple of small-time fuck-ups like you get under my skin? You're not making any sense. You wanna talk about sense? Nothing about you makes sense. Telescopes don't put themselves together. Evidence doesn't disappear. You're going to pay for what you've done, Maxine Caulfield. And I'm here to... Safe. 
saved him, Moses. I could have saved him. No, you couldn't have. Listen to me, Max. This place ate a man. Moses, your hair. I told you, there's always a cost. It started with Safi. Maybe if we can figure out why you, why she died, then maybe we can prevent all of this. That's what I've been trying to do. The whole day I've been talking to people and spying on them and taking their stuff. Hey, Safi mentioned Maya, right? When you rewound? Right. What do you think Maya has to do with all this? No idea. Maya was before my time. But Gwen Hunter might know more than me. She was Safi's mentor during all that mess. Gwen. Gotta go talk to Gwen. I'm still shaking. Alderman was, and then he just wasn't. And Moses and I were standing so close. But I'm here now. I'm here. I'm all right. Okay, talk to Gwen, see what she knows. about Maya. And while I'm at it, cool. I'd like to know why she killed Sophie's book deal. Gwen's office. Let's see what I can find out from her. I will never be as cool as Gwen. Old school. Nice. More music I'm not cool enough to know. It's alive! One of those Abraxas roses for Sophie. Happy holidays to my favorite prof. I don't think a happy holidays is in the cards. It takes me ages to comment on one student photo. I can't imagine having to grade exams. One of Sophie's former students, I guess. Is that... Sophie's book? Hey, Gwen. Max. No conversations for you to conveniently overhear this time. Sorry to disappoint. Actually, I need to talk to you about Sophie. No reason to beat around the bush. I know you got Sophie's book deal cancelled. Shit. What I don't understand is why. You really have a knack for learning shit you're not supposed to know, you know that? So I've been told. <laughs> well then. No use fighting the inevitable. 
What do you want to know? So, what did you tell the publisher that made them nix the deal? I... I told them there was incendiary content in the book. Which was true. It would have harmed a lot of people. Safi included. That book meant the world to Safi. You had to know that losing it would break her heart. Of course I did. I busted my ass to help Safi get that deal in the first place. Introduced her to my agent, my publisher, lobbied for her. I don't regret it. That book was good. This keeps getting weirder and weirder. Safi's book was incendiary? How? What was it about? You really don't have an off switch, do you? How much did Safi tell you about Maya Okada? Gwen's bringing up Maya? Time to pay attention. Not a lot. I know they were friends. <laughs> Understatement of the year. The two of them were like the creepy twins in The Shining. You never saw one without the other. And that Ben Lang kid used to follow the two of them around like a lost puppy. But then Maya took her own life. And that's what Safi wrote about in her book? Maya's death and everything around it. Her anger at her mom for even thinking of Caledon when she'd just lost a soulmate. Ultimately, I realized it wasn't worth putting Yasmin and Safi through all that again. I made a call. I don't know if it was the right one, but it's the one I made. Sounds like Yasmin can tell me more about Maya. I'll have to be tactful. Let me get this straight. You helped Safi get the deal, and then you killed it? If it had to be done, it made sense for me to do it. You know, I brought you into this world, etc. One last thing. Is that Safi's manuscript? Oh, part of it, why? Can I read it? No. That's where I draw the line. I don't trust you not to dig up old graves. Jesus. I've spilled too much already. Let's call this conversation over, huh? Shit. Now I'm even more convinced there's something important in that manuscript. How do I get my hands on a copy? How can they have no record of him? They sent him.
gotcha. Reading Safi's manuscript after all this feels like... I don't know. Being hit by a tidal wave. Whatever happened with Maya was... explosive. Let's see what Yasmin has to say about her. So they took her computer. Probably going through it right now. Tossing Gwen out screwed everybody over. Will Gwen be allowed to come back for these? Hope somebody is coming in to water you guys. Preferably someone who doesn't have to break in through an alternate dimension. Would you mind closing it behind you, Max? Audrey? I'm worried about Kim. So am I. None of my attempts to reach out have yielded results. You? Nope. She's still not. Meeting tomorrow. Where? What meeting? <laughs> Is it endorsing meetings in general? If we can't sit on tables, where are the cool kids expected to sit? In chairs? Like a bunch of squares? Then boom! The spaceship crashes right in the middle of a park, and this alien crawls out of the hatch. That seems like a lot of money for a student project. I'm only gonna shoot the trailer. I figure I can cut costs doing some old school practical effects. Seems like you've got a plan. Still very ambitious. Go big or go home, right? I'd been meaning to ask Diamond about her new movie. It's nice to see her so excited about something other than Moses. Lo-fi ambient bellows to chill slash study to. A classic. I, for one, kind of like the paper straws. Professor. Yasmin liked to get coffee here in the afternoon. Before Safi died. Yasmin liked to get coffee here in the afternoon. Before Safi died. I don't want you to worry. Sorry, Yasmin, but I'll need to interrupt your downtime with some questions. No caffeine? This week of all weeks? I predict outright revolt before the week is out.
My dearest Annabelle, I write to you from the front lines to inform you that the war on Christmas has been lost. Loretta's a hard worker. I'll give her that. I just wish she'd use her powers for good. Hey, Loretta. Oh, hi, Miss Caulfield. How are you? Are you working on your podcast? Yeah. I'm researching this really fascinating string of killings in West Germany in the late 80s. See, there was this hospital... You'll have to tune in if you want to hear the rest. I'll be sure to. Anyway, catch you later, Loretta. The art department really pushes for self-expression in every medium. I like that about Caledon. Oh, wow. These are, uh, extremely creepy. Sorry. This school's success means a lot to Yasmin. Fuck, this doesn't look so great for Gwen. I'm surprised Lucas agreed to do this. I wonder who took the time to censor Sophie's recipe. Probably not Sophie. I hardly know any of the faculty here. So that's Lucas's son? Oh, this picture is too cute. Wait, Donner and Blitzen means thunder and lightning? <laughs> Who knew Santa's reindeer were so metal? And then she didn't. Dang, Sophie must be a grading machine. Professors sitting on the table? Huh, so this heartwarming sentiment isn't a Colmanero quote. It's Dickens. Hi, Yasmin. Maxine. How are you? I was worried after your nosebleed yesterday. Like I said, I get those all the time. Still, be careful. Small symptoms can be signs of larger problems. A toothache can mean a heart attack. I'm gonna try not to think about that too hard. <laughs> I was hoping we could talk. Come, sit. Have you seen Sophie today? No. We're meeting later this afternoon. I can tell her you were looking for her. Did Sophie tell you her book deal was cancelled? What? No. How... How, uh, was she when she found out? Not sure, but I bet she was devastated. Oh, Sophia. I'll be sure to talk to her about this.
You look like you've won the day. Coffee's that good? <laughs> Our ratings are. Kaladin is once again one of the top universities in the country. The coffee is just... so-so. <laughs> I wanted to ask you about something. Have you heard of a student named Maya Okada? Of course. She took her own life. Four years ago. A horrible tragedy. I think... I think Safi's book was cancelled because it was about Maya. <laughs> Impossible. Safia didn't even know Maya. Did Yasmin just lie to me? Do I call her out? She'll be pissed, but I can cut straight to the point. Or should I go along with it and see what narrative she's trying to spin? I don't know why I thought they knew each other. It's just... What? Everyone seems to have a different opinion of Maya. It's hard to track what's true. I understand that Ms. Okada was a bit chaotic. So, she had a bad reputation. No wonder you didn't want her and Safi associated with each other. <laughs> exactly. Strange. I really thought Vin's statement closed the matter. Shady cow skull throwing Vin is involved? Enough ancient history. I have a favor to ask. Safi has been distant lately. Could you keep an eye on her for me? Are you sure that I'm the best person to... Yes. Because she trusts you. And I trust you. I... Yeah. Sure. I'll look out for her. Thank you, Maxine. Oh, the time. Let's do lunch again. Somewhere with more atmosphere than the other place. That was... odd. What did she mean by Vin's statement? Maybe I'd better talk to Vin myself. He's probably in the admin building. Hey, sport. You're just gonna walk past me without saying hello? Oh, what a terrible mistake. Whatever shall I do? I'm hurt, but... I'm sure you can make it up to me. I'll think of something. <laughs> anyway, hi Amanda. 
What are you doing on campus? Just going on a coffee run. But your coffee's better at the turtle. This one tastes like ass. Enough about me. What are you doing here? I work here. No, no. I mean, I just saw you talking to President Fayad. What were you talking about? I was asking her about Safi and her relationship with a student named Maya Okada. Oh. Why? It's kind of a long story, but it's for something important. This guy's always falling for you, isn't it? <laughs> you have no idea. Well, I'll leave you to your something important. <laughs> See you around, tiger. See you, Amanda. He's probably in the admin building. A crush on Lucas? Really? Things can't be that bad, can they? Okay, Isabel, you were absolutely right. As always, what uh, was I right about? As it happens, a number of folks, faculty and staff alike. What the heck are you talking about? He's an administrative assistant. Okay, why is Vin an administrative assistant? He's an amazing actor. I saw a couple of his plays back when he was an undergrad. It's what made me want to come to Caledon. What's your point? Shouldn't he be in, I don't know, I'll keep up my shenanigans and they'll have to add Max Caulfield to the list. I didn't realize I needed cryptid erotica until just now. Looks like somebody had their last stand. Damn, Finn's the most popular class on campus. Hey, Vin. Um, y Yasmin's out right now. Sorry to disappoint. Unless you're here for me. In which case, I'll do my best to be of service. Do you talk like this to everyone who comes near Yasmin's office? <laughs> I've never met a pissed off board member I can't defang with a little eyebrow action. How long have you worked in the president's office? Right after graduation. The summer stock festivals wept because they couldn't have me, but Kahuna needed me right away. I thought you might have worked here when you were still a student. <laughs> you know, back when Maya Okada went here. Wow. You know Maya's name. Am I supposed to collapse under the weight of that revelation? You're supposed to talk to me like a human being about what happened with her. What do you need me for, super sleuth? You're obviously capable of digging up ancient gossip on your own. Now, if you'll excuse me, Gwen's hearing completely scrambled Kahuna's schedule. No casual chats about Maya. Noted.
Why is Yasmin talking about you of all people, Vin? Maybe a I wanted to talk to you about Abraxas and who should be leading. Waiting until I'm down to try to kick me out, huh? Whoa, Diamond was working on a documentary about Moses. I wonder why she never went through with it. That was not dirt on Vin. I'm sorry, Diamond. I didn't think this is what I'd find. Somebody abandoned their boy. Don't mind us, Max. We were just finishing up. Then Abraxas needs new blood. You mean you need another line on your resume. Hold up. Can we talk? I just want to ask you about Maya. Please. I can't handle the both of you. Trying to exploit my weak spots. Did I just witness a failed crown snatching? <laughs> you gotta seize the opportunities when you can. And hey, it almost worked. Speaking of which, what's the deal with Maya? Isn't she the undergrad who died a while ago? That's her? Why, do you know anything? Just that Vin looks like he bit into a lemon anytime someone says her name. So Maya makes Vin uncomfortable, huh? Let's find out why. There's gonna be a debate at the beginning of next semester. A special little pissing match for Vin and me. Vin usually runs for Abraxas president unopposed. But if I had the right piece of dirt, I bet I could make him step down. If I give her something juicy and then go to the other timeline, Maybe I can listen in on Diamond confronting Vin? Vin gave a statement where he said Maya had mental health problems, which May have been true, but I think there's more. What I'm saying is, someone let Maya down really badly. I don't get it. Were Maya and Vin friends or something? I'm not sure, but they definitely knew each other. And Vin gave a statement about her death. What a pompous little piece of shit. Just try not to go too hard on him, okay? He's not in the greatest place. Relax. I'm not Loretta. Can you do me a favor? Wait until I get out of here to bring this up with him. You got it. I won't jeopardize your getaway. This Vin's not going to tell me anything. Maybe the other one has looser... Would Alderman's mother know what happened to her son? Lips, if I'm going to listen in on this conversation, I need to cross to the other side.
let a man make a stale cup of coffee in peace? No. Because here's the thing. I didn't want to bring this up before, but I know about the statement you made. About Maya. You told people she had mental health issues, but that wasn't the whole story, was it? That's an extremely fucked up thing to bring up. Nobody expects the head of Abraxas to be Mother Teresa, but they shouldn't be covering up details about someone's death. All right, fine. You want to know what happened? After Maria died, Yasmin told me that if I stated on the record that Maya was troubled, he'd give you a job as her assistant. Holy. But why would anyone want to hear about what you had to say about Maya? I don't know, Diamond, maybe because we were fucking friends? We met in one of Colmanero's fiction classes and clicked. And you said that shit about her? <laughs> Shut up. You wanted a performance and now you're gonna get one. I grew up without any money, okay? Most kids at Caledon don't get what that's like. And I'm not fucking stupid, okay? I'm not gonna make it as an actor. So yes, yes, you promised me a stable, respectable job, health insurance. And I took it. And I cared about Maya. And it was a horrible thing to do. And I've regretted it ever since. Then... That's... I don't have to bring that up in the debate. There's not gonna be a debate. I'm dropping out of the race. You're just gonna let me be the head of a Abraxas? Like that? It doesn't feel very good in the end. Vin met Maya in Lucas's class, and he also knows something about the cow skull through Sophie's windshield, which conveniently made Lucas look guilty. If I can pressure the other Vin, maybe he'll tell me what the hell is going on here. I know. I know you're busy. Give me just a minute of your time. This better be worth it. Yasmin gave you this job as a favor, didn't she? For talking to a reporter who was writing about Maya's death? Didn't your parents ever teach you to not bring up people's dead friends for no reason? There is a reason. I promise. Please. Enlighten me. It might not make a lot of sense, but I'm trying to help someone. And that means learning about Maya. Maya's been dead. For years now. She can't help you or anyone else. Just go with me for a second, okay? All right. You said in your statement that Maya was troubled. But that wasn't true, was it? Finn, what really happened? Ask Lucas Colmanero. It all started in his class. He has Maya's blood on his hands. You're not saying Lucas killed her? Not literally, but... The man deserves every misfortune that befalls him. Like, for example, if Safi suspected him of tossing a cow skull through her windshield? <sighs> no more free secrets. I have a reputation to protect. I guess I could reveal one of the other secrets I know. You owe me a favor, remember? Because of your package. My... Uh, package? Shit! That's in the other timeline! Get it together, Max! Uh... Th never mind. <laughs> Hmm. 
What if I told you that Lucas filed a restraining order against Safi? Well, I say that Lucas is less dumb than I thought. So, was that a shiny enough info nugget or not? Very shiny. All right. So, was the cow skull you or not? <sighs> yes. So, why? I mean, you've seen a pissed off Safi before. She's like a force of nature. When I heard her book got squashed, I seized an opportunity to aim her at a deserving target. So you were, what, protecting Gwen? That's as much as you get. And now I really do have to get back to work. But, Caulfield, whatever the real reason is for you digging up old history, be respectful to Maya. She suffered enough while she was alive. You're kidding. How much? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> ha ha. Compare us all you want. Only one Colmenero has a movie deal, and it's not Roberto. Samuel, I'm sorry. Can you please hold? Absolutely not. Out of my office, now. But I... I just shipped my son out of the country because of your little stunt. You think we're just going to go back to being friends? Admit it, Lucas. You have blood on your hands. Whatever you think, you know, you'll never be able to prove it. Now get out! What the fuck was that? I can't prove anything? Whatever happened to Maya, Lucas was definitely involved. No, Lucas. Sounds like a great time to take a look around inside. All right, let's see what I can find about Maya. World's okayest dad. Might be the first time Lucas didn't oversell himself. Hmm. Seems like at least one student remembers Lucas fondly. Poor devil. Banished to the hell from whence he came. Looks like a fun read. I didn't know Lucas did fun. That's probably his ex-wife. They look really happy here.
If Alderman never existed, how the hell do Moses and I... Guess normal drip just doesn't cut it for Professor Colmanero. How'd they get in here? Jesus, some of these items are priceless. I've got a lot on my plate. I don't need this right now. Where the hell's Yasmin? Where's security? First Gwen's slashed tires, now Lucas's office? What's going on in this timeline? The Shoals Award for Literary Excellence. They're handing out typewriters now for writing books? Pretentious, shiny, and probably hasn't typed a word in years. Kinda like Lucas. Do you have something for me, Mr. Filing Cabinet? These folders are all from this year. I doubt I'll find anything about Maya. That's a lot of junk. But maybe what I need is somewhere in there. I didn't realize just how much Lucas's book has resonated with people. Um, oh, that could definitely be Maya Okada. Yasmin did one of these? Maybe he reads it for the articles. Whoa, why were Lucas and Maya meeting so much? This can't be a repeat of what happened at my high school. One time was far too many. Of course Lucas is the type of asshole that makes you buy his own book for class. Well, be significant. Doesn't fit. That's not what I was expecting. Wait, a million miles beneath my feet? I know this. Maya wrote this.
Come on, there's got to be a copy in here. Maybe ten of them. Holy shit. It's the same. Vin was right. Lucas does have blood on his hands. This is what I've been missing this entire time. I have to talk to Sophie. Sophie, hey. Stay strong, Habibdi. You know where to find me. Something wrong? Oh. You want to talk to me now? I've got nothing to say to you. Sophie, I What? Did you spread my business to someone else? Dig up a couple more clues? Shit. She knows I've been asking questions. I'm not sure who you've been talking to, but I have a good reason. Oh, you have a good reason. Well, in that case, what's your good reason, Max? I'm worried about you. I think there might be someone that means you harm. <laughs> yeah. Me too. I don't have the energy for this. I think you should leave me alone for a while. Maybe a long while. So many nights like this when I was on the road. Diners, bars, hotels. I liked being alone then. At least, I think I did. Joyce still treats me like her second daughter, even after everything. Sometimes it feels like she pins the hope she had for Chloe on me. The least I could do is make her proud. I can't just sit here feeling sorry for myself. I need some company. I could ask Amanda to help me drown my sorrows. All dressed up for Krampus. I was so excited to go. I doubt I will. Well, under one is a class. I got a copy of our assassin schedule. Finn Lang sold it. So, any idea what you're gonna do? You know, I'll admit, I don't really see too many live performances. And we're going to correct that immediately. If you want to get to know me, music is a surefire way to do that. Oh, well, in that case, I'll bring a notebook. Take notes. Excellent. Write this down. Uh, does comedy, enjoys live music, super cute. That last one's important. I feel like you've done this before. What's in the Max journal? Hot's definitely there. And mysterious. Hoping you can help me fill it out a little more.
Alternate Max looks like she's having a blast. Wanna swap places? Hey, Max. Oh, fuck. That's about the level of greeting I'm expecting at this point. Thank you. You okay? Everything's fine. She fell in love with the wrong person. Reggie! What happened to the bro code? Max is a bro. You ever have a thing for the wrong person? Show me someone who hasn't, and I'll show you a liar. Or however that saying goes. That's deep, Max. I didn't think I wanted anybody before. Reggie says I should move on, and he's right. I just... I haven't felt this way about anyone, ever. I don't know if I will again. Give yourself some time. Life has a way of surprising us. Really hope you're right. Not even huge novelty monster heads are gonna improve this mood of mine. I wish Safi gave me a moment to explain. Hey, Gwen. Oh, Jesus Christ, here we go. I'm sorry to bother you, but... I really think you should take a look at the footage. It's weird. Like, game-changingly weird. I think you should fight this. Okay. Anything else? Oh, that's all. Take care. Hey, sport. Working hard or hardly working? Sport? <laughs> you cosplaying as a boomer dad today? Hey, you said it first. I doubt it. The old sport is more my style anyway. It's finals week, isn't it? Everyone that's come in here lately has that same frazzled look. A drink to ease your troubles. Shot, please. Are we wanting a gasoline on fire flavor experience? Or a sickly sweet... Rated Grandma's liquor cabinet kind of taste. You know me. If it's not cloyingly sweet, I can't drink it. Have you ever tried Amaro? It's this sweet liqueur. It tastes like a whole herb garden went on a week long bender. Great. Now I'm depressed and scared. How are we feeling now? Like... Like I keep thinking I've hit rock bottom. But then I realize I'm still falling. You are such a disaster. Oh god, I certainly have a type.
You need more than a drink. Let's hang. Don't you have a bar to tend? We don't need to leave the turtle to have fun. Remember that date we were gonna go on? What do you say we have that date now? What are we gonna do? Kidnap the members of Revenge Horse and force them to play here? As if. Revenge Horse only plays house shows. We might not be able to go to a show for real, but we can always pretend. I guess? Bitch, shut your dumb eyes. Okay. We pull up to my buddy Eddie's house. We call it the rat hole best house shows in Lakeport. Revenge Horse goes on at 11, but at the rat hole, that means midnight. The place is packed. We can smell Granite Joe smoking a blunt out back, and Eddie waves to us from a table full of scary merch. Hold up. Why is the merch scary? We approach the merch table. It's covered in stickers and pins, and they're all of this horse that looks like it was, quite frankly, drawn by a toddler, and yet it's powerful. No matter where you stand, it stares at you. Sick as hell. I buy a sticker. You now have one sticker. Hey, do I hear the band doing a sound check downstairs? Ahead of schedule? Let's check it out. <laughs> Careful, the stairs are steep. <laughs> Revenge Horse opens with my favorite song. Fuck, Mary kill. And a mosh pit opens in the smoky dark in front of the stage. Let's thrash, Dr. Okay, let's pretend you said something normal, but basically that. <laughs> we throw ourselves into the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I probably immediately get a black eye. Oh, then I fight us away back to the bar and get you an ice pack. <sighs> I only need one eye to see the show anyway. Hey, the singer. Is she a stage diver? I mean, in so much as you can call a thrifted area rug a stage, sure. She sets her guitar down and takes a running leap towards the crowd. <laughs> I run over to the spot where she is laying. Wait, don't you have an ice pack in one hand? Oh. Oops. Yes, I do. I hope you're prepared for what happens next. Don't tell me that the singer, that she... Stone cold dead on the floor. But don't worry, this is how she would have wanted to go out. Before we leave, we each receive an invitation to her Viking funeral. That was the wildest show I have ever seen. <laughs> or like, talked about. Told you it'd be worth it. And you're walking away with Let's see. One terrifying horse sticker, some bruises from moshing, and an invitation to a Viking funeral. <laughs> Bye.
If that was just a dry run, imagine what the real Revenge Horse show is going to be like. It's been a buck wild thing, but that made me feel like, I don't know, maybe tomorrow my existence won't be things worse for everyone around me. Keep saying that about your day. What happened? Why are you so nice to me? Shit. I'm doing it again. My therapist says I latch on to people too quickly. But what am I supposed to do when I gel with someone? Act like a bitch? Bitchy women are a huge turn on, so. Oh? Good to know. Because I can be vicious. <sighs> Look. What can I say? I have a thing for emotionally unavailable women. Yeah, it's me. You're literally in my bar talking about yourself like you're a category five hurricane. Um, sorry, did I do something wrong? No, no, I really, really want to kiss you. Um, it's just that I, like I said, I tend to go for women who don't feel the same way about me and I need to know I'm not just projecting. So. You kiss me first. I'm a sucker for a good dare. But I'm also very polite. So you go first. Are you trying to break me? Max Caulfield, you are the worst. Before we do anything else, maybe we should sleep on it? In my bed? <laughs> as much as I'd like that, um, I'd like to be able to tell my therapist I made good choices this week. You are a very smart woman. Goddamn. <laughs> to be continued. Okay. Uh, for now, I, I have to get back to it.
can't be a bard. Why not? Because we hmm. are. Must be game night. Last time we had two bards, we got totally smoked. Hey, Reggie. Feeling okay? Uh, I don't feel like I'm about to fall off the face of the earth, so... Reggie... I know, I'm not doing good, Max. I wasn't doing good before I saw me. Now I'm worse. I think... Something like that would rattle anyone. That's not the only thing, though. When I was a freshman, I thought moving here across the country would fix everything that was broken inside of me. Everyone here just thinks I'm a fuck up. And maybe, maybe they're right. Reggie, you're funny, genuine, clumsy, <laughs> but I've seen your photos. You're not a fuck up. At least there's one thing I'm good at. <laughs> Thanks, Max. Anytime. gonna take the visionary ventures cake? Still don't feel shitty enough to drink beer. And? I'm leaning towards no. Damn, that's not what I expected. What that's what I really need to cap off my night. Falling on my ass. Was it really a good idea to cancel this? Now everybody just gets to sit at home with- Hey. Hey yourself. How are we feeling? Oh, you know, I'm upright. Take it easy, okay? Come here often? <laughs> Probably too often. Join me? Help yourself. Day. Everybody hates me. I'm annoying. I'm bothering to everyone. My colleagues, Moses, Toffee. Toffee used to get pissed at me too. Are you crazy? Toffee was obsessed with you. She would talk about you all the time. I was always jealous. I mean, um... Don't hurt yourself. I know about you and Safi. Oh. Well... I should have told you. Hey. 
There's been a lot going on. And it's not like we're besties or anything. I wasn't her boyfriend or anything. And it ended a while ago, but... I guess I had this idea that we'd make up. Eventually. <laughs> Any other deep, dark secrets you've disinterred from my past? I know what happened to Maya. <laughs> Christ, Max! I was joking! And I know what you did after she died. I was young, I was an asshole, and I didn't want to end up working at my parents' liquor store until I shriveled up and died. Does the past version of you ever feel like, I don't know, an alien? Like, the shit that person cared about is so worthless. You can't even remember being them? That sounds like a shitty spot to be in. Especially right out of undergrad. Right? Here I was with the chance to be uh, salaried, health insured, even fucking 401k'd. And all I had to do was talk shit. Which I'm good at. Sorry to bring down the vibes. <laughs> I need to be more drunk. See, you made yourself right at home. I blame Vin. And then Sophie happened. And I guess Amanda didn't feel like I could hack it. Oh. That's kind of whack. She's probably right. She's cute, but a little too principled for me, even discounting her utter lack of interest in my gender. Hey, principles can be hot. Uh -huh. I'm serious. I will write you an essay. Passion is very sexy. No, no, you're right. Passion is sexy. Like your buddy. The big guy with the telescopes. Moses? Once, I asked him how his day was going, and he explained to me the double slit experiment. It was weirdly hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What? You're saying you wouldn't? He's my friend! And this would be extremely friendly. Moses, smash or pass? He's a friend. It'd be too weird. More for me. I'll say this for Caledon. It's got a high ratio of fuckable faculty. <laughs> Dr. Hunter, for instance. Interested? She has a wife! So do a lot of people. Don't let your dreams be dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. This is smash or pass? Not have a healthy, long-term relationship and two and a half kids or pass. I'm not asking if you want to marry them. Just... Just... <laughs> oh. Exactly. <laughs> Professor Colmanero. No. He sucks. Does he now? You suck. <laughs> hey, I'm just I'm just trying to think of people we both know. Lucas. Smash or pass. 
Pass, he's a dick. <laughs> and yet, I've put up with worse for less. <laughs> okay, my turn. Yasmin. Oh, now that's just unfair. Why? <laughs> because then I'd have to admit just how hot I find authority figures. <laughs> I would not have pegged you for the type. Oh, yeah. What would you peg me for? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I couldn't just let it lie there. <laughs> Fine. My turn again. Let's see. Who do we both know? Uh -huh. No. My students are off limits. Well, as I am one at Caledon and two not one of your students, which appear to be your two standards. Come on. So, what about me, Miss Caulfield? Where do I fall on the binary? Thanks, Finn. Okay. I really... Just thanks. Do you have to go? I've got an early morning. Or... I should. Well... Drink a glass of water when you get home. Take it easy, Max. I better cross back over in case Sophie is cooled off and is trying to reach me. Looks like Reggie took off. He sounded like he had a lot on his mind. Nothing from Sophie. I don't know what I was hoping for. Maybe I should just head home for the night. We now return to your regularly scheduled fuckery. Oh, God. This is bad.
Whoever was here really messed this place up. What were they looking for? There goes my security deposit. No, 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 no. All my Arcadia Bay stuff. What the hell do they want with this? Safi's books. What could anyone want with those? Tuna fish. Maybe not the best time for a photo op, but you're so cute. Hey, you're okay? What happened? Did you see who came in? <laughs> that doesn't sound good. you you stay up there then gather your thoughts <gasps> they're still here just went into the dark room. I can't let them go through my investigation stuff. Guess Count Catula has particular tastes, and bananas is not one of them. Hmm. I sense this is a cat thing, and not a trespasser thing. Okay, you just freeze, okay? I don't know what the fuck is happening, but until I do, you're staying put right where you are. Yeah, that really doesn't work for me. Wait!
damn it! Now how do I get across? Come on, come on, come on! How else can I cross? No doorways to the other world on this side of the log. I need to find a way to track her from this timeline. Shit, how do I know which way? both timelines to find her. Hope I haven't lost her. Almost got her! Stop! For fuck's sake, just stop! All right! You caught me! Now what? Now what? Where did you even come from? Are you from the future? Is this what's been going on with you? <laughs> that you've completely lost the plot? I don't understand. Why were you in my house? What are you looking for? What are you looking for? All that stuff in your dark room? About Lucas? About Vin? About Gwen? Shit you have no reason to know about or care about! That's not true! I'm trying to help, Safi! Of course you were! God, I'm so sick of people trying to help! Stop. Please. We can't touch each other. I've seen what happens. Please. Trust me. Trust you? Go fuck yourself, Max. No! Oh!
that, Supermax? Come on. Let's get you warm. I always said you were too soft for academia. 